Thanks for joining us and welcome to PS Sports Talk. I'm Matt Gottwald, along with co-host Joel Rainier. Well, the playoff situation has certainly changed uh, thanks to a couple clutch shots by a couple teams' uh, stars this week. Um, Greencastle won by a uh, point of Susquehanna Township last night, and Championship won by four today or tonight over um, Kokalika, right. which puts them in a District 3 quarterfinals, and best of all, they get to play at Giant Center this weekend. And also facing the daunting task of two number one seeds, so we'll see how it goes. Yeah, just a little bit, a little bit of uh, deja vu, a little bit here with. Uh, man, let's start this thing again. It's horrible. <laughs> I'll tell Mark's better that out. <coughs> Edit this part <laughs> out. Stop. <laughs> All right. Thanks for joining us and welcome to PO Sports Talk. I'm Ed Gottwald, along with co-host Joel Rainier. Well, the playoff situation certainly changed here in the last couple of days. Um, two of our area teams, Greencastle and Chambersburg Boys, got clutch shots from a couple of their star players and moved on to the District 3 quarterfinals this weekend. A couple of great games. Yeah, they were uh, very intense. Felt like uh, a couple of years back there when Greencastle and JV and uh, Scotland made that deep run in the playoffs. Uh, both games were really intense and came down to the end. Yeah, and Denver Cordell made the big shot for Greencastle and Scott O'Roman, the big shot for Chambersburg. Uh, now those teams get to move on and play quarterfinal games at the Giant Center, which uh, is always, you know, kind of puts a little bit more emphasis in everything. Yeah, the kids, the first thing they always say when you ask them, you know, how big a win is this, we get to go to the Giant Center, we get to go to the Giant Center. And, you know, it's just a thrill to play on a big court like that. Um, unfortunately, both teams are going to be running into some big roadblocks. Yeah, the, uh, the game set up now, or Greencastle's going to play Top seed Lancaster Catholic on Friday at 8 o'clock. And Saturday at 1 o'clock, Chambers are going to take on top seed York. Um, I think from what we've been talking about here, we, we really think Greencastle's got their hands full against Lancaster Catholic because they lost to them last year by 18 in the first round. Yeah, Lancaster Catholic's played on the big court. They have the big stage experience, and they just have a bunch of seniors back, and they, they play a methodical style where they're never going to make mistakes. You have to you know really play well to beat them. Uh, Coach Martin's a big believer. He always, you know, thinks his team can do it. So they're athletic enough to hang with them. I'm just not sure, uh, you know, in a big stage like that on a big court, uh, they'll be able to last the entire game. Big thing is if Greencastle shoots like you did right. at Susquehanna Township, they can hang in there. And then uh, Chambersburg York, we've been looking at this, kind of thinking it might happen, and uh, just judging from comparative scores and everything, it looks like Chambersburg certainly got a chance against York. Yeah, definitely can't turn the ball over on that big court and let it get up and down. Um, York's very athletic. I think they had like four or five guys in double figures. Uh, they have a Calvin Parker kid who's averaging like 20. So they've been getting, uh, teams have been hanging around them here at the end of the season. So I'm not going to say Chambers is going to get blown out, but they're definitely going to have their hands full and have to play the best. We also have District 5 playoffs going forward this week on Thursday. In the boys, Phantom Metal plays at Southern Fulton. Uh, Four Missouri's at Shanksville, and then the girls take over on Friday with three games. Rockwoods at Southern Fulton, Phantom Metal at Shade, and Four Missouri's at Myersdale. Um, we really think Southern Fulton looks good in both boys and girls there. Right. To get, probably to get to the final. But we'll see how things shake out with everybody else. Four Missouri's have played pretty well in the boys. Yeah, that's a nice 4-5 draw for them. Uh, unfortunately, it's on the road, but after that, they'd have to play Shade in the next round, and that'd be a handful, but... Shade and Southern Fulton boys in the final will be a nice matchup with both teams that have really good records and pretty good programs. Yeah. And also we have District 3 wrestling tournaments this weekend at Hershey Park Arena. Uh, I'm kind of looking forward to this because I think there's three kids from Chambersburg have a legitimate chance to get to the finals or maybe even win or at least get the top three to get to the states. You know, the last few years I don't really think if we felt like that that there was somebody could win. But you were like, hoping semifinals for the second day. So. Yeah, or, you know, and, and qualify for states, but District 3 is so tough these days that, you know, it's kind of been unrealistic. But I think this year, we'll see. I, I don't, I'm not saying all three are going to win, but I think we'll get one in there somehow. Yeah, a lot of times the Chamber kids never had the favorable matchups. Now they seem to have the matchups where they can not coast, but they should be favored to get into the semis. And then from there, it's just a matter of how they do that second day. Yep. So it should be an exciting weekend. Um, enjoy the games for Sports Talk. We'll see you next week.